Okay, uh, for those interested in pursuing a career in cloud computing, do you have certain certifications or skills that you recommend they acquire? Uh, sure, that's a great question. So a career in cloud computing, in other words, a cloud computing infrastructure, if we're referring to, to that industry, uh, you, you certainly need a background in computer science. So you definitely need to study computer science, engineering, mm -hmm. Etc. Definitely mathematics is a big piece of it. So mathematics is definitely something that you have to deal with on a regular basis, uh, yeah. especially with sizing, financial also. You're, you're crunching numbers, justifying the, the, uh, the investments, uh, doing math uh, mathematics modeling in order to predict the capacity, doing uh, yeah. uh, cloud capacity calculations. So definitely something with a background of computer science, computer engineering, and mathematics. And also we've seen people ha uh, pursue uh, certain types of certifications, right? You can go yeah. to some of the, the biggest cloud service provider uh, to name a few like Amazon, um, Amazon with AWS, Google with GCP, Microsoft with Azure, Oracle with OCI. And okay. you, they have their own certification that you can enroll to. They start from the base, like with the foundations. So they teach you yeah. about what we talked at the beginning of this podcast about the the different models, etc., and then you can go up to more uh, the, uh, an architect uh, certification, to a developer certification, to a cert security certification, to okay. uh, AI, machine learning, etc. So there's definitely multiple avenues in order um, to end up in the field of cloud computing. And for people who are more into like the business kind of side of things, can they still work in the cloud uh, computing industry like without? getting too technical or they need to they need to like acquire some technical skills to be able to sell these solutions very good question now now definitely if you have uh a knowledge in the technical or the technology you're trying to sell then it's always an added value if you take for instance an account manager an account executive client solution mm -hmm. director a business a development manager uh, it always adds adds value if you have technical knowledge of what you're trying to sell but it's not a mandatory requirements right the things okay. can get can get picked up easily because the consumer world has also picked these up so yeah. then you're being educated in your day-to-day -day, uh life with what's happening in the consumer world it's also very similar to what's happening in the industry in, in the industry world okay 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 uh, do you have any advice to give to someone who's just starting like their journey in the field of technology in general and then more specifically in cloud computing, like any kind of uh, tip that worked for you maybe that could be kind of useful for those who want to uh, work in that field? Sure. I mean, one of the key things I always tell to uh, this kind of audience is the world is moving so fast. The, the yeah. industry of cloud and computer science is also moving extremely fast. As soon as you graduate or land a certification, you're outdated. As soon as you get it, oh, really? you get it there's new <laughs> concepts being already developed. Okay. So my recommendation is never stop learning. Never, always be curious about what's happening elsewhere. And don't yeah. specialize in just one type of uh, technology. Try to keep broaden your knowledge across different uh, wide spectrum of technology and, and, and resources and tools because we don't know what's gonna be next, right? Like if you take the software engineering language, for instance, uh, there was days where C, right? back in our days, like C was the main dominant programming language, then Java came and, and there's gonna be next iterations. Like it's, it's, it's always evolving. And so you wanna make sure you keep broaden your, your knowledge across the wide spectrum of technologies and try to keep learning, stay up to date. Yeah. So yeah, that's definitely sound advice. Thank you for that.